Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this chapter, we're going to learn how to create an iKFK switching in 3ds Max. For creating a iKFK switching, uh, we need uh, three. I just uh, created three uh, bone setup. So let's say it's the shoulder bones. This is the elbow, and this one is a wrist one. So. <clears throat> What we'll do? Uh, we are actually actually have created uh, uh, a skin setup. This is so S H S H L D or shoulder underscore S K. This is actually for skinning. This is a, a elbow underscore L B underscore S K. This is also for skinning, and also the wrist dot S K. This setup is actually for I K. You see, select it, and you'll see the in the modify panel shoulder underscore ik this is elbow underscore ik and this is a wrist underscore ik and this one is for the fk it's uh, shoulder fk elbow fk and uh, the wrist fk so what uh, exactly uh, uh, happened in ikfk switching now ikfk switching means uh, if i switch to ik and i have an ik setup i have put an uh, hi solver over here and if i move the IK joints, the skinning skin joints will actually follow the IK joints. And whenever I rotate the FK bones, you will see the skinning bones, which is actually skinned with the character, it actually follows with the FK bones. So that is the most important thing. And as we already know that uh, the bones is uh, bones are actually uh, work in the rotation values only not in the position values so we are going to uh, con connect this uh, skinning bones skin bones with the fk and ik uh, bone system through a constraining called orientation constraint so let's see what uh, how we can do that select the skin bone go to animation constraint orientation constraint you'll see the rubber when comes up Move, uh, select the shoulder underscore IK and the same thing uh, you will do again with the shoulder and this time you will just orient it, con orientation constraint with the FK joints the same thing I will do for the elbow constraint orientation constraint to the IK and then again animation constraint orientation constraint to the FK now what we will see if you select the shoulder joint in the motion panel you can see the orientation constraint up and in the under the orientation constraint menu you'll see uh, two uh, target is there one is shoulder underscore IK which has a 50% weight and shoulder underscore FK which is also have a 50% weight so now if I move the IK joint or IK you'll see uh, the FK is actually following it but not uh, in a full manner see it's a half 50 percent because uh, the the sk joints have two different uh you know parents as one is the ik setup which is actually parenting through uh, the orientation constraint with the skinning uh, sorry skin skin bones and also the fk if you rotate the fk also you'll see the uh, the skin bones are actually moving but not in uh, in full it's it's fifty percent. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll just uh, have to make any one of these to zero weight. Now how we'll do that? You just select it. You see there is a weight coming up. Select the joint you want to. So let's suppose I want I want to uh, make an uh, IK complete complete IK movement. So just make the FK weight into zero. And same thing we'll do for the elbow, make it zero. So <clears throat> now you'll see as I have uh, make the FK uh, into zero. Now you'll see that uh, the FK bones have no influence to the skin joints, no whatsoever. Yes, but and as well as if you see the um, the movement of the FK, sorry, IK, you will see the IK is actually, I mean, uh, the skin bones are actually following the IK joints completely. See, it's a hundred percent movement, hundred percent influence. The same thing we can do uh, to FK also. We'll just uh, select the IK, make it zero, and 
so fk and make it 50 even 100 it doesn't matter and select it make it fifth make it zero and make this one sorry and now we'll see if i move the ik joints sorry ik movement we'll see there is no movement at all in the in the skinning bones and if we move if we rotate the uh, no, the FK, you will see the 100% follow, following is happening. So that is the most important thing. We have actually uh, distributed the, the orientation values of this uh, shoulder joint into two different joints. One is uh, uh, an IK setup and another one is FK setup. And... Uh, that's how we actually uh, you know we can we can uh, select w which one which uh, exactly uh, setup we want to create while animating it a character and that's how we select and uh, or control the character through fk or ik whatever you want but not exactly it's happening uh, just every time you just go move to the uh, select the bones and uh, move to the motion panel and go to the orientation constraint and change the values make the key and then again move up to we we need a we need a simple setup or uh, through any kind of controlling system or something and uh, if we select that uh, there must be some you know uh, like uh, like any kind of uh, circle or something whatever it is you can select it and if you go to modify panel you'll see the custom pa uh, the uh, parameter should come up which uh, where from where we can actually you know uh, set the ik or fk settings uh, before animating so we'll see or we'll discuss that in the, in the next chapter for this chapter uh, uh, this is uh, this is the end and uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll definitely uh, bring you how to create the uh, controlling system uh, in the next chapter so thank you very much